Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Eduardo Teles. This is my gym, 99 Jiu Jitsu. And I'm living here in San Diego, California, almost for like three years. Best place in the world, good Jiu Jitsu. Our, our philosophy, we always searching for the technique, right? But we try to also have fun at the same time. So we never get bored. Like, if you train, you know, and this happy, having fun, you want to train more, right? You want to come to the gym every time because you have fun, you learn things, you know, it's, it's a very cool place to be. You know, you make friends at the gym. And, and yeah, we have a good vibe here, a group of good people. And yeah, that's the, that's the secret. Competition, man, it's like a challenge, you know? It's like real life, you know? It's, you gotta be able to do the things you plan, you know, when in a real situation, you know? When, when with pressure, you know, people watching you, you gotta perform as well, so... Yeah, if you can do in a competition, you know, yeah, you can do anywhere. The technique helps, but you gotta have a strong mind. You know, like the tournament, it's much more mental than, than anything else. I know a lot of guys that perform really well at the gym, but they, when they go to a tournament, they freeze, you know, they can't do things. And there's other guys that when they go to the competition, you know, they don't do so well at the gym. They mo most play when they go to the competition, you know, they, they transform themselves, you know, they get a, like, Superman. Because if you get too nervous, you know, you kind of go, go blind. So it's important to stay calm, you know, during the storm and find your, your way out. Because, yeah, strategy is also very important. You know, I, I try to, like, tell them to relax, you know, try to wait a little bit more, be patient, wait for the right momentum. Usually people, you know, especially in a tournament, because have a lot of people yelling, do this, do that, you know, and they nervous, you know, and they listen to the crowd, so they try to do something in the wrong, in the wrong momentum, you know. So sometimes, especially in a competition, it's, it's easier to kind of block, you know? So I try to tell them to stay calm and wait for the right momentum. You know, the momentum will show up. You stay with a good base, you know, with a good posture. And of course, sometimes you, you, you try to create the momentum, okay? But especially for beginners, you know, I tell them to wait a little bit more, be a little bit more patient. Don't get, you know, like too, like too excited and, and try something crazy, you know? The competition, you gotta, you gotta really wake up a little bit more. So it's always good to do a good warm up, you know, like, uh, put your heart to beat, you know, like fast, you know, also your, your breathing, you, you warm up your breathing, you know, and, and yeah, you gotta be fast, you gotta think fast, you gotta act fast. You know, you gotta persist. If you wanna, you know, like, win a competition or whatever, you gotta persist. You gotta compete a lot. That's how, you know, I, I, that's how I learned, you know? You gotta compete, 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 and then you finally start winning, you know? And then it, it, it starts to getting easier each time. I, I like to say that when you lose, you learn more than when you win, you know? Losing is not fun, but yeah, when you do something wrong, especially in a competition, trust me, yeah, that's, you, you're not gonna do it again. 
you learn for the rest of your life.